Tip number one, when you ADS with any gun, you can just jiggle or jitter click your mouse around to be very accurate and counter the recoil patterns. You'll see pro players do this as well, and that's because as long as you can make a motion faster than the fire rate of the weapon, the recoil doesn't really register. Now, since this isn't really viable on controller, you have another option, which is the somewhat learned gun bullet recoil patterns. I've already covered this topic in another video, which I'll link down in the description below if you want to check that one out. Tip number two, the EVA 8 is just as accurate hip firing as it is with aiming down sight. Let me be clear, there's almost no reason to ADS with the EVA 8. Number three, if you go from aiming down sight to hip firing while holding down the trigger, a bunch of your hip fire shots will have almost 100% accuracy. Be sure to use this if you need to stray faster to the left or right after aiming down sight, but still haven't quite knocked someone yet. Number four, strafe speeds are different with whatever gun you're using. LMGs and snipers being the slowest, with pistols being the fastest. Five, if you're dropping in as Valkyrie and see a squad with the CH next to their name, that means they're actually the champion of the match, so you should probably land on them, punch them out, teabag their box, and leave the match. Six, when stimming with Octane or ulting with Bloodhound, your field of view actually changes. What's interesting is that although the field of view will increase, Octane's aim down sight field of view will actually be closer and easier to aim with. Seven, Octane jump pad has three different ways to use it. You can slide into the jump pad to travel further, walk into the jump pad to travel higher, or punch into the jump pad to travel straight up. Oh, and you can also toss Ryzen's gravity lift under the jump pad to go very, very high. Eight, slide jumping is the fastest way to travel, so you should do this until your knees bleed and then keep on going. Nine, you can and should heal while sliding or bunny hopping down ramps or decline surfaces. All you really need to do is slide, jump, pop your heel, keep holding slide and jump to maintain momentum. 10, wall jumping can be used in interesting ways to get to different parts of a building quickly, get over cover faster, or be a harder target to hit. I've even seen some G Fuel snorters slide jump while opening a door and then wall bounce off the door they just opened. I mean, come on! 11, in the likely case you'll find yourself falling off the side of the map and run out of climbing strength, you can actually punch the wall to reset your ability to climb. I've seen it help when your pathfinder and your grapple just needs a couple extra seconds to recharge. Slap that wall and you're good to go. 12, and this was kind of embarrassing but for the longest time, I held jump while trying to climb walls. I later learned that you don't actually have to hold jump at all to climb those walls. You just have to hold forward when you want to face plant into a wall to become Spider-Man. 13, you can jump off of a zip line by hitting interact and then rapidly hitting jump. If you're on mouse and key, this is relatively easy if you bind jump to your scroll wheel, but it can also be done on controller if you practice it. Just hit interact, then spam jump. 14, try to kick something right before you land to cancel the landing animation. This isn't always possible, but try to land next to stuff you can kick. It'll help improve your movement and thought process a bit. 15, tap strafing is this thing where you can tap forward while air strafing to maintain momentum with whichever direction you're traveling. You can even do a full 180 with this and not slow down at all. Since tap strafing is hard on controller, you can spin and pull backwards on the thumbstick to change direction immediately. 17, jump kicking is slightly faster than punching so do this to prove you're a better gamer in those fistfights. 